Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we discuss the following question which says evaluate the limit limit x tends to a sin x minus sin a is equal to root x minus root a. Before we move on to the solution let's recall some formula. We have sin c minus sin d is equal to 2 cos c plus d by 2 into sin c minus d by 2. The other formula is cos of a plus b. And this is equal to cos a into cos b minus sin a into sin b. Also, we have the standard result of trigonometric limits, which is limit x tends to zero, sin x upon x is equal to one. This is the key idea that we use for this question. Let's proceed with the solution now. We are supposed to find the limit. Limit x tends to a sin x minus sin a, and this will upon root x minus root a. Now, as the limit x tends to a, so we will put x equal to a plus h. So, putting x equal to a plus h, we get that as x tends to a so h tends to 0 therefore this limit would be equal to limit h tends to 0 and in place of x in the numerator and the denominator we will put a plus h so this would be sin of a plus h minus sin a this will upon root A plus h minus root a. Now for the numerator of this function, we can use the formula sin c minus sin d, which is equal to 2 cos c plus d by 2 into sin c minus d by 2. So, using this formula for the numerator of this function, we get this is equal to limit h tends to 0, 2 into cos A plus h plus a will upon two into sine a plus h minus a this will upon two and this will upon root a plus h minus root a. So further we get limit h tends to zero. 2 into cos a plus h by 2 into sin h by 2, and this will upon square root of a plus h minus square root of a. Now we can also rationalize this denominator by multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by square root of a plus h plus square root a. So further we have limit h tends to zero two cos a plus h by two into sine h by two into square root of a plus h plus square root of a and this whole upon. So when we multiply these two. We get in the denominator a plus h minus a. So this is equal to limit h tends to zero. Now we can move this two in the denominator. 
So here we can have cos of a plus h by 2 into sine of h by 2 into square root of a plus h plus square root of a and this whole upon h by 2. Or you can say this is equal to limit h tends to 0 cos of a plus h by 2 into limit h tends to 0 sine of h by 2 this whole upon h by 2 into limit h tends to 0 square root of a plus h plus square root of a. For this function that is cos of a plus h by 2 we can use the formula cos of a plus b is equal to cos a cos b minus sin a sin b. So this is equal to limit h tends to 0 cos a into cos h by 2 minus sin a into sin h by 2 into limit now as h tends to 0 so this means that h upon 2 also tends to 0 so here we can have limit h upon 2 tends to 0 sin h upon 2 this will upon h upon 2 into limit h tends to 0 square root of a plus h plus square root of a. Now in this first limit we can put h equal to 0 and we get this is equal to cos a into cos 0 which is 1 minus sin a into sin 0 which is 0 this into the limit h upon 2 tends to 0 sin h upon 2 this whole upon h upon 2 would be 1 since we know the standard result of trigonometric limit which is limit x tends to 0 sin x upon x is 1 so this into 1 into by putting h equal to 0 here we get root a plus root a which is 2 root a so this is equal to 2 root a into cos a this is the answer for the limit that is we have limit x tends to a sin x minus sin a and this whole upon square root x minus square root a is equal to 2 root a cos a. So this is our final answer. This completes the session. Hope you have understood the solution of this question.